Alexa, call Leo. Hello, stranger. I could say the same. I messaged you. All right. I hate having to wear a tie to school. Aye, well, only squares wear ties. I'm not a square. Oh, yeah? I bet you I can guess what you're doing right now. What? Homework. Quicker I get it done, quicker it's finished. Bet I can guess what you're doing. What? Oh, Insta, Snapchat, tickety talk. No, my mum took my phone off me and I'm grounded for like forever. So how did you call me? <sighs> Wi-Fi connected to my PlayStation. My mum doesn't even know I can make calls without my phone. I wouldn't even know how to do that. You're so much better with technology than me. Why did she take it? The phone? They whispered to the warrior, beware the storm, and I replied, I'm the storm. <laughs> you're not a storm, mm. you're my cousin, and you're a pain in the neck is what you are. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so what are you going to do for the homework? Uh, as if you're even interested. Oh, if I wasn't interested, I wouldn't be asking. We have to write something about change. Change? Bit vague, no. no. It's meant to help us with moving to high school. All right, so you're writing something about coming to my school. Mm. I like mm. being the oldest at primary. What's it like in first year, being the youngest at your school? Oh, it doesn't make any difference to me, man. Like anybody gives me any hassle, I just turn it into a, a hurricane or a tornado. You don't need to put on the storm act with me. I know the real you. So, uh, what are you going to do? About what? First mm. year? No, your homework. Hmm, any ideas? Pff, why are you asking me? you got the brains in the family, and I've got the looks. I think you'll find I got both. Actually, I was, uh, I was thinking of doing some poetry. All right, about what? Maybe my neighbour Betty's garden. A bit boring. Poetry or Betty's Garden? Both. Do you remember when we were younger and we used to write poems together at Nana's before I moved away? <sighs> Betty's Garden is beautiful. Reminds me of Nana's Garden, actually. <gasps> you should come and meet her. She's lovely. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You don't come over. Since we moved back, why is it I hardly see you? I've been busy. Busy with what? Stuff. What kind of stuff? It's not like you've got any hobbies or anything. I well, hobbies are expensive. Not everybody can afford a different class every day. Oh, I don't have one every day. Oh, yeah? How many have you been to this week? Uh, two. No, no, three. Swimming, kickboxing and dancing. Mm hmm and what about the horse riding? OK, four, but you don't need to have classes to have a hobby. <sighs> Well, no many horses on my scheme, or swimming pools. Plenty of kicking and boxing right now. Why don't you come with me to one of my classes? You said you would. When did I say that? Oh, when we first moved back. I, I do not remember saying well, that. Well, you did. Anyway, you never know, you might enjoy it. My mum said she would pay for you. What? I'm not a charity case. Oh, it's not charity of your family. 
Why don't you come over anymore? I do. Not as much as you used to before we moved away. And have we been asked? Oh, you don't need to be moved back. Oh, you don't need to be asked. Your family. It's not what my mum says. I don't care what your mum says. You can come over here anytime, and so can she. All right, did your mum say that? What does it matter? It's her house. It's not her house. It's our house. I live here too. So I can just turn up anytime. Yes. Promise you'll come over. Tell me this idea of yours. Not until you pinky promise. Of what age are you? You are never too old to pinky promise. <laughs> Why don't you come over right now? What now? I mean, have you even asked your mum? My mum isn't even in. Please, please, oh, come on, please. I, I okay. Please. Pinky promise. <laughs> right, now tell me this idea of yours. Well, Betty told me that every year she plants sunflowers, usually around April or May. Mm -hmm. They bloom in August, the same month I go to high school. Is that it? What? You don't like it? It's not that I don't like it, it just... I think it needs something else. What? I, I, I don't know, just... Just more, just just more. What are you even talking about? I don't know, we're just brainstorming. Oh, that's a oh. good one, that's such a good one. Let me hear this idea of yours. I don't really have much. Come on, right, how about we skip the part where you pretend like you're no going to read it to me? <coughs> In Betty's garden, the sunflowers oh, come, oh. the sunflowers stand, reaching toward the sky with gentle hands. Yellow crowns upon their heads so bright, a welcome warmth in the morning light. Is that it? I, what? Come on. What? You don't like it? I thought what? I just started. I don't know, it definitely needs something else. <sighs> what? Um, right, hang on. Uh, no. Uh, what? <gasps> Got it! Tell me. <laughs> right. I'll give you a clue. It was one of Nana's favourite things. Oh, she had lots of favourite things. Mm. Uh, her garden, mm. tea and biscuits. Yeah, come on. Uh, oh, what else? Oh, come on, oh. they're all over your bedroom. <gasps> Butterflies! <laughs> yeah! I, do you remember? She used to buy us those mad wee jars, the kits with the nets. Yeah, the jars had tiny caterpillars in them and then they grew into oh. chrysalids and oh. then we put them into that net thing. And then they turn into butterflies and we set them free in the garden. I think about her every day. I miss her. Butterflies, that's a, a great idea. You're not as stupid as you give yourself credit for. Thanks. She had another favorite thing. What? Storms. The whole storm thing started with Nana. Lex is the oldest grandchild, the first. Uh, Nana had two daughters, our mums. Lex was like a big sister to me. I always looked up to her. But I came 13 months later and we used to do everything together. But then we had to move away because of my dad's work. I always looked up to her, copied her, I wanted to be her. But anyway, the night she was born, they almost had to close the maternity hospital because of a storm. I can't remember what her mum and dad were going to call her, but it was Nana's idea to name her after the storm that night, Storm Lex. I reckon <laughs> that you ditch the sunflowers and go with butterflies and storms. Or I could try and keep all of oh, them. Classic, right? Uh, when's it to be done by? Oh, next week. Oh. Plenty of time, right? Come on, we'll go to the shops. <gasps> Here we have a fairly unusual <laughs> specimen for the oh, region. Right, Hangs right. about the shops even though oh. her and all her wee bam pals are barred. Unfair reputation for not being very clever. Also can often be found getting herself and her cousin into trouble. 
How would you come into the shops me get you any trouble? For a start, because you're grounded. If your mum found out I agreed to go with you, she would actually freeze. I was actually trying to do you a favour. How? And one of the boys likes you. Who? MCT. <laughs> MCT! Oh, the guy who thinks he's a drill rapper. What oh, would you know about drill? I mean, the closest you'll get to drill is the dentist. In it, I know he's a wannabe when I see him on fam. He writes lyrics. <gasps> he's been helping me write some. I can help you. Like when we used to write poems together. Eh, uh, <laughs> butterflies and storms don't really feature much in drill songs. <laughs> I'd be surprised if MCT could write his own name. What? Just because he writes about postcodes and you write about sunflowers? I don't just write about sunflowers. Uh-huh, and he doesn't just write about postcodes. How come it's all right for you to write poetry but he can he? Okay, take it easy, it's just that. Drill really isn't poetry, is it? Why no? What was his nickname? MCT. No, I mean before he became a wannabe drill rapper. Don't call him that! What? A wannabe. Trousers. Hi. <laughs> a wannabe. <laughs> oh, I see. I've got a bit of competition. Do you fancy no, him? No, I don't fancy him. Do you, you fancy him? Can you not? Can you not? No, I don't fancy him anyway. You said it yourself. You've got the brains and the looks. So what chance have I got? Oh, come on. That was a joke. What was his nickname? Trousers. That's it. No. Trousers. Oh, MCT Scottish. is MC Trousers. Trousers. What kind of nickname is Trousers? <sighs> And what about the stupid outfits and the hoods and the masks? I don't know, you could always just ask him yourself. I'm asking you. You know, he told me that, he said before he wore a mask, he felt like nobody noticed him. Okay, well, anyway, this might sound weird, mm. but when I go to the shops, I actually go to the shops to go shopping. I don't go to hang about terrorising people. Can you not talk rubbish, please? We do not go to terrorise people. We go have some fun. You might want to try it for a change. Try what? Fun. Try having some for a change. I have plenty of fun. Oh, I saw you do. Swimming, horse riding, kickboxing, dancing. <laughs> wow, I'm so jealous. Maybe I will try having your kind of fun. Maybe I'll try and join a chess club. <laughs> Why do you have to be so mean? Me? You said the MCT couldn't even write his own name a minute ago. Trousers. Don't call Trousers. him that. See, I can't call him Trousers or a uh, wannabe. No, because his name is MCT. Can I call him MC Trousers? No, you can't because he likes to be called MCT. <laughs> Why are you being weird? I'm not. I'm not being weird. I don't. I don't care who he likes. So, uh, we just write lyrics together. Sometimes that's all. I mean, we're just friends. If you fancy him, I can help you with your hair or new fit. Are you serious right now? Like no one could possibly ever fancy me if you didn't help me with my fit. Are you joking? That is not what I meant. Are you coming to the shops or no? I told you I want to get this done. <sighs> But you've got a week. Rather than a butterfly, maybe I can start with a caterpillar, like Nana's kits, then a chrysalis, then a butterfly. Mm -hmm. uh, in a jar, tiny and bright, a little caterpillar starts its fight. Uh, very slowly it slides and creeps and dreams of flying while it sleeps. <laughs> For this tiny little creature wonders await. So keep your eyes wide open. And wait. I want to go. I'll message your mum. Why, why would you do that? Because you're grounded for a reason. For what reason? You tell me. Well, I'm waiting. Um, no, no, no. Like we were just, we were just having a carry on, and somebody filmed it. And posted it. And uh, it's, it's not just carrying on. It's not carrying on when you're hurting people or, or vandalising stuff and why even post it? Like, showing it off as if it's something you're proud of. 
You're better than that. Why would you ask why I was grounded if you already knew? Because I wanted you to tell me. Oh, how did you know? Are you kidding? I saw it. Your mum probably saw it too. You, you wouldn't be grounded if, if you hadn't posted it. All right, well, I don't know how she saw it. I had her blocked. Why block her if you've nothing to hide? I can post whatever I want, whenever I want. And I do not need you or her to stick your noses in my business. Actually, you can't. Can't what? Post anything you want. Just like you can't say anything you want. You, you say or post the wrong thing and, and there are consequences. Not just for you, for all of us. And what about you? What about me? Why are you grounded? I'm not grounded. Ah, oh, you are. You're self-grounded. And I wouldn't even know that was a thing if you weren't my cousin. It's, it's the trolls. I, I think you might actually be one. Or on your way to becoming one. I'm not a troll. They're everywhere. The shops, online, school. Where can I go? <sighs> They're all in your head. You're just a scared little girl, Leona. Don't call me that. Only Nana called me that. <sighs> Underneath the bridge so dim live the trolls with their nasty grins. They love to scare with mighty roar, but, but deep inside, they want much more. Real friendship, hmm? Forevermore. I have real friends. I'm not a scared little girl. Okay. Prove it. Come to the shop. I told somebody. you I want to get this done. You need to stop making excuses, okay? You need to get out there more. Take a chill pill. Taking chill pill. Uh, so, hey. You know, the only trolls out there are the ones living in your head. They don't exist if you don't let them. I'll make you a deal. What kind of deal? I'll go to one of your classes. When? Whenever, next week, I don't care. Which one? Any class you choose. For real? Aye. But only if you come to the shops for me. You are grounded! Wait, don't you worry about that. I've got, I've got a bad feeling, I'm not sure right, about okay. this. No, well that's fine, hey, no, I'll go myself. Perfectly capable. No, no, wait, wait, no, I'll go, no, I'll honestly, go myself. Stop, wait. You wanna look? Just, I can do it myself. No. See? Very easy. Hold on a minute. Going myself. Stop. Come on. We're going why, now. Why Let's go. Like move Stop. it, move it. Stop. No. Here we go. We're going. Come on. If you're going to do it, do it right. Hurry up! Ow. Come Ow. on! Oh! Oh, let's... Hurry up, bad, come on! Ah! Just wait! Just wait for me! Why would you do that? I don't understand why you would do something like that! I'm a storm. It's what we do. Storms don't just have to destroy, they can do good things too. Like what? Oh, I don't know, you're the storm, you tell me. I'll tell you about a storm so fierce, where a howling wind and rain pouring down. In Glasgow, drill, we wear the crown. Just, oh, trousers? MCT. Do you want to hear the rest? No. We wrote it together. I don't. <laughs> do you think that's what Nana had in mind for you when she suggested they name you after a storm? Shh. <laughs> Stop it! Ouch! Stop it! <sighs> what is it you're trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. That's why people leave me alone, stop getting all up my business all the time. I can't handle it. It's her job to keep you safe. I can keep myself safe. Oh. Yeah, looks like it. <sighs> you knew before you invited me here, you knew something like this would happen, didn't you? Hang on. 
That is the only reason you even invited me here. Because you thought your mum would go easier on you if she knew I was here. Little Miss Perfect. I'm not perfect. You should be thanking me. For what? I was actually trying to help you have some fun. Oh, fun? Don't you get it? That is not fun for normal people. Ah, so you fancy him? Who? MCT! No, I have zero percent interest in MCT. Right, and what about the others? I don't like any of them. Ah, you're too good for them. <laughs> What is the matter with you? It's me. We used to talk about everything. You've definitely changed. I don't know. Sometimes I just get frustrated, anxious. That looked more like anger back there. I'm no angry. Why is it that you always seem to be in the middle of it when things like that happen? Just because I'm there when stuff happens doesn't mean I'm the cause yet. Did you try to stop them? Well, no, but I can't control people. No, but you have a voice. You could use it if you wanted to. And what about your voice? I didn't hear you speaking up. Anyway, you don't understand. So explain it to me. There. What? They know what? They're my family. Nana died. You moved away. My mum and dad split up. So did mine. That's why we moved back. Oh, come on. Your life is perfect. Oh, really? You think I don't have just as much going on in my life as you have going on in your life? You are such a square. Maybe I am a square, but I think that you need some new friends. Or, or sorry, family. Or whatever it is you want to call them. All right. OK. So why don't you introduce me to some of your friends then? Oh, wait. That's right. You don't have any. Don't, don't, don't go. No, I, listen, I'm sorry, okay? I shouldn't have said that. I'll admit it, some, sometimes we do take things too far, but you, we, ha we have a laugh. If all they do is get you into trouble, how is that a laugh? In fairness, they don't just get me into trouble, like they get themselves into trouble as well. Oh, well, that's okay then. Look, if I have a choice between being me and going out and getting into trouble... Or being or... me and staying in and not getting into trouble, why does it have to be one or the other? It's not always me. Oh, egging each other on, showing off, being bored, even being angry doesn't mean you have to cause mayhem all the time. Okay. I said I'm sorry. And why are you apologising to me? For, for getting you involved. And that's the last time, Lex. Well, no, 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 hang on. Well, I'll, I'll still come in one of your classes. No, you won't. If you keep acting like that, being mean to me, hanging out with that lot, I don't want you to. No, but I'm a storm. It's just what storms do. I actually defended you. Oh, when have you ever defended me? Your mum doesn't want me coming to your school. Since when? Your mum fell out with my mum when she told her. Told her what? The reason that my mum doesn't want me coming to your school. You. You are the reason. Me. How? She's worried you have a bad influence on me and said that us having the same surname might be a problem for you. How would that be a problem? With teachers, other kids. Oh, you have a reputation. Not a good one. In the depths of despair, a storm awakes sorrow and sadness. Raindrops mingle with tears from the sky. Achings and blowings whisper a lonesome cry! In a world of hidden wonders, a chrysalis held secrets untold. <laughs> Until a flutter of wings broke free, a butterfly's beauty to behold. <gasps> Betty! You came. I knew you would. 
What's wrong? They can't be here, Lex. Oh, you see that? <laughs> you can't be here. Leona's too good for us. I never said I was too good for anybody. I told MCT about your homework. He wants to hear your poem. No. <laughs> I want you all to leave. Oh, these are beautiful. Uh, what are they called? Roses. I know that, I'm not stupid. I'm asking what kind of rose. It's just a rose. Let MCT hear your poem, or I'll let them in. Okay, but then will you leave? <laughs> all of you. <laughs> uh, uh, in Nana's garden, at the sunflower stand, reaching toward the sky with gen... No, please don't pull the <laughs> With gentle hands, yellow uh. crowns upon their heads so bright. A welcome, please to stop, uh, a welcome warmth in morning light. Uh, I don't stop, see stop, any stop, sunflowers. Oh, I was, I was uh. just planting them. These are the seeds. Betty just nipped to the shops for some biscuits. No, please How stop would you feel if it was you? If your auntie had said that about you, her being ashamed of us having the same name? In the depths of despair, a storm awakes sorrow and sadness. Raindrops mingle with tears from the sky. Achings and blowings whisper a lonesome cry. This jealousy has been mentally draining. Too many thoughts and self-doubt ain't plain sailing. When I see how you are, when I look fair far, I start to think that maybe I be failing. You see, the storm in me has made me see a blinding fog which ain't the tea. I've been led to believe it's me, but I tell you what, I'm not a dafty. Did you write that? Yeah, all by myself. That is so good. I don't know. What? <laughs> Underneath the bridge so dim live the trolls with their nasty grins. They love to scare with mighty roar, but <laughs> But deep inside, they want much more. Yeah, real friendship forevermore. Real friendship forevermore. Real friendship forevermore. See, Lex, you're not a troll. You're not a troll. In a jar, tiny and bright, a little caterpillar starts its fight. Very slowly, it slides and creeps and dreams of flying while it sleeps. For this tiny little creature wanders await. So keep your eyes wide open and wait. I can't believe I liked him. <laughs> but you've got the brains <sighs> and the looks. That is mm. not even true. I don't care. I'll say it to his face. Oi, she is too good for you. I mean, look at the stage uh, of you. Okay. You're a wannabe. You know what? She writes better raps without you. Yeah, that's right. Run away. Run away, real gangster rappers. <laughs> I was jealous. Remember when we were younger and you used to live near us? I remember I'd stand outside your house freezing and I'd watch her perfect life through the windows like they were TV screens. So let this tale remind us when storms draw near to lean on each other. Take away the fear. With friendship as our guide, we'll fly above, just like butterflies joined in flight and love. I really miss Nana. Me too. Betty, oh. uh, this is my cousin I was telling you about. Hi. I'm really sorry about them and the flowers. Oh, no, 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 no. It, it was my fault. Tea and biscuits. Will you stay?